I'm inside. Good. Try to keep a low profile, would you? And they reached out to me. They're hiring in the basement. I'm sure it is. They're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a group of activists right now. Lamb to mankind. If I were you, I'd stay here. Keep your head down. about their new biofuel. They say they're going green by the end of the year. The only thing green about that fuel is the label. It's the same shit with new branding, the marketing stunt. They're not running the most attractive operation here. I mean, they're pumping out weapons for Andrew selling timeshares. Looks probably not their priority. I made it to the delivery bay. Good. See that command post next to the gate? You should be able to open things up for me from there. Hold up. Dusk, you're up. On it. Once I've got their attention, you go find what we came for and slap on this fancy new delivery label. Got it? Drive all the way out 
the ass end of nowhere if I didn't have a pickup? All right, all right. I'm gonna have to search that truck. Then we'll see about that pickup. Knock yourself out, bud. According to the intel we received, the crates of explosives should be stored around here. All right, Dusk. The delivery label's been switched. And it's time for us to get the hell out of Dodge. Wait. I smell something. Give me a minute to check it out. I knew I smelled it. Silver. Whoever ordered this intends to kill Garu. Dusk. They're shipping out silver bullets. You know what that means. Change of plans? Change of plans. I need to find out who's buying these bullets and why. Buy me some more time. Upstairs. She's from Andrin, here for the special order. The silver bullets? Who even uses that shit? Is she picking up some golden guns while she's at it? You know what they say. The client is king, especially when the client's name is Andrin. Shipment's loaded. How are things on your end? Shouldn't be much longer. waiting. Oh, paying, clearly. You're not getting anything until Endrin is paid up. You can tell that to your President Watkins in person. I don't think you understand what's at stake here. <laughs> oh, I understand that you've just been attacked and you're looking to hit back. I also understand that you need our ammunition to do that. And we've got that ammunition right downstairs, ready and waiting to go as soon as you've paid us. Sorry, Major, but business is business. Well, fuck you two. Then we'll attack Tarker's Mill without your help. And rest assured, Mr. Watkins will hear about this. Tarker's Mill? Hey! You and I need to talk. Who are you? Guns out! Die! <sighs> Bollocks! Security! Alert!
Cairn. Adana. I have to go back. Dusk. What the fuck are you doing, Go? I just had to pop a couple guards who wanted to put a bullet in my head. Get the fuck back here already. Sorry, but I didn't have a choice. Keep the engine running. We're out of here as soon as I get back. from that sector. Take your positions, people. Maximum alert until the situation's clear.
Nada. Better safe than sorry, though. Too late. Engine is already here. What do we do? Stop the truck. What's even down there? My home. Dusk, stay out of this. Wait! Call! Rodko! Rodko, they've cleared our northern line. They have an exo. We'll take care of the wounded later. We have to stop them. Let's go! Move! <laughs> Fuck 
fucking silver. <clears throat> Tell me, where's Adana? Don't worry, Cahal. Your daughter didn't fight this battle. How are your wounds? Riddled with silver. I'll take days to heal. But things would have been far worse if you hadn't stepped in. I just did what I had to do. Nothing more. I honestly never thought I'd see your face again. Why'd you come back, Cahal? I heard that the Cairn was gonna be attacked. I was afraid for you. For Adana. And how did you hear that? I overheard Endrin talking about it on my last job. I may have left Tarker's mill, but I never turned my back on it. I couldn't just abandon you. You found it easy enough five years ago. Your Cairn and your daughter have always needed you. I tried to tell you that. Where is she, Rodgo? With Ava. Working undercover at the biggest Indran site in the Pacific Northwest. The best option available to us after the failure of our last mission. Rodgo, you let Adana infiltrate Indran? My fucking daughter? After what happened with her mother? Your daughter? is the best undercover agent I have. We will not win our fight for Gaia without first bringing Indran down. And with your daughter on the inside, we're closer than ever. She may not fight like we do, but she's every bit as strong. You should respect that. The work she's doing inside Indran is absolutely vital. More so after what their private fucking army just did to us. I'm afraid her work won't be able to stop Indran from retaliating against us. Not after our last mission. Your last mission? What do you mean? You remember the old abandoned mine not far from here? Indran bought it and turned it into a training center for their new recruits. I launched an attack to wipe them out, but Tank Girl stopped us. The woman you saw in the exo during the attack she drove us back. Tank girl, you call her. I encountered her during my last mission. She was trying to buy silver bullets from an arms dealer. That's where I learned she was planning an attack on the Cairn. Major Grainer. That's the name her men give her. But to us, she's Tank Girl. And she leads Endron's troops with about as much grace. Their attack on the Cairn was their first wave of revenge for our attack on the training center. We managed to repel them this time, but it's only a temporary victory. They might return at any moment, and Endrin just keeps recruiting soldiers. Then we've got to go back to the mine and destroy their training center. It's the only way to buy the Cairn any sort of safety, no matter how brief. Go back? No. Not until I'm well again. Then we can strike. I'll take care of that goddamn training center myself. You know I can handle it on my own. No. You're no longer a part of this pack. It's my responsibility. And how long will it take for you to get better? Days? Weeks? If they return, the cairn will fall. Huh. I'll think about it. Go pay your respects to your Fen and come back to me. Then we'll talk about the mine. <laughs>